did Google AI Studio just release an app store? And as a developer, we all know what the app store usually means, like the Shopify app store. It means there's a chance for a lot of opportunity. So let's go ahead and check out this new update from Google AI Studio, the vibe coding tool. Welcome back y'all. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out Google AI Studio again. They just released another update y'all. If you come over to your side tab here and simply hit gallery, we now have the ability not only to share our apps, but also use other people's apps. So in today's video, we're going to check out some of these, see what's up and see how we can easily just clone them and use them for our own use case. And when I say clone them, I mean like you could quite literally take this fit check app, take all the code and launch your own software with it. But let's try a couple before we do that. Fast forward your personal time machine. Gemini reimagines you in past decades with character consistency. Uh Oh, let's see what this does. So first things first is I need a photo. I'm like, what's the best way to get a photo? Oh, wait, I can literally screenshot myself. <laughs> Jeez. And that's the power of OBS recording tool. I can just screenshot myself overlay. So we got this nice little photo. Let's use it. All right, we're going to upload. It's been uploaded. They have a really cool UI animation here. <laughs> Generate. Uh-oh. So while we let that generate, one thing to keep in mind here is that the specific value you see in any of these apps, in theory, we can just take that and maybe build out like a mega app that has all these really cool features that leverage Google's API ecosystem. We got a result here. Oh gosh, we can download it. First off, this is extremely cool. Oh, I can actually move this around. What an intuitive UI. Look at this. We can chuck it around. I got a little my, I got my photo album. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I like it. All right, 1905, clean cut. All right, let's see. 1960s, Corbin. All right. 1980s, I mean, could I pull off the mullet? I don't think I can pull off the mullet, maybe. 1990s, you know what? I, I rock that, I like that. 2000s is a little bit like, it's giving me like high school bully vibes or something right here. So I don't know about the 2000s, but I think we're gonna go with W Corbin 90s. Unless you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. New app. Now, one cool thing that I liked about that app that you could quite literally take the code for is that really cool intuitive UI feature we can drag around the different images. So keep that in mind. Once I show you how we can take this code, you could essentially take any of this code. The next app we'll check out here is Paint a Place. Transform any Google Maps location into a stunning watercolor painting with Nano Banana. Let's see it. I need to provide an address here. The address I'm gonna provide has a very special place in my heart. This right here, right there, is a place called Steve's Korean Barbecue. If you've ever been to Berkeley, oh my gosh, I love this. The spicy pork here, I'm I'm in love. This was one of my go-to meals. So right here, we're pulling it up on the app. And if you want to know the actual location, like I showed earlier, it's right here. Let's make my favorite place when I went to Cal into amazing water painting. <laughs> Great watercolor. What I want you to think about though, is when looking at these apps, these very much communal apps where everyone can launch one and put it in this store, you can take bits and pieces of the logic here and put it towards your specific software or app. Cause these are very much, like I said in my first video here, like Insta apps, boom, boom. And that's why I plan on doing a series later on. So stay tuned here where I show you how to take apps like this. That is really cool really cool stuff here but i take apps like this and we actually give it a real domain and we give it a real back end we connect this all together so a user could in theory sign up for a service like this pay you 99 cents a month to do xyz maybe 9.99 dollars a month whatever it may be i will be one of the only channels that show you actually how to use this so you could genuinely from dot zero to dot i have a real software and i completely vibe coded the entire thing that's possible now that wasn't possible a year ago. The text just getting too good. And this is amazing, y'all. It's right there, right there. That's where Steve's is. Awesome. Oh, this is a uh, Gypsies, I think. I think this is Gypsies. Let's get a confirmation, y'all. I'm gonna zoom in. This is Gypsies Italian. Yeah, yeah, you thought I was playing. I, I know. This is Gypsies. This is not as good as Steve's, but really good calzones. Let's take the calzone. Next app. It looks like we have other people doing a video game. Let's check it. Choose your player. SP. All right, welcome. Let's learn controls. Use left arrow or button to aim on the side. Okay, good. Now use up arrow. All right, here we go. Here we go. It, oh, okay. I see. Ah, mm -mm. space bar to swing. Oh, 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 whoa. So this is what I'm talking about, y'all. This is obviously like an 8-bit game, right? This is an 8-bit game. You know, the resolution is not amazing, but that, that UI right there, that user interface experience of bold or game over, that's next level. That's something we could take in the relevant code here. I'll make sure I leave this gallery in the description down below so you can kind of jump around. But now let me show you how to take any code for a specific element. And to be honest, y'all, let's go back to this game here and take the code for that little animation. You hit the ball, game over. I like that animation. What's amazing is because of the fact that this user interface already has an AI chatbot integrated into it, it's actually extremely simple. But let me show you how to do it in the most vibe cody way possible so you don't even have to look at the code. First off, let me just get the little animation to show again. Come on. Yeah, now I'm batting. Okay, you ready? Come on. 12 to win. I got it. Let's go. Space bar. Oh. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, let me show you. <laughs> ah! 
Nice. All right. So that right there, this is like a we. I'm like like one of those me's. In theory, let me jump back down, y'all. One way functionally we could do this is we could use the annotate app feature. So I'm gonna click this. And if the relevant UI thing or action you want to steal, you can draw about and point to. Do it that way. That's probably the most vibe Cody way to do it. Alternatively, we can just use regular dictation to identify it. And to find a specific block of code, you can use verbiage like this. Give me the exact file where the UI effects on swing are happening, like game over, etc. Describe it. Don't code anything new. This is important because sometimes this little Gemini bot just wants to start coding. No, 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 chill out. Stop coding. Stop coding. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now, sometimes on this output, it will provide you where the logic is incurring, but not necessarily the CSS styling. And this will make more sense, and I'll explain what that means pretty soon here. So we're getting use game engine.ts. So what we can do now is we know where the file is incurring. So we go to code, use game engine.ts, as you see up here. And then control F, command F, do game over. Sometimes it worries about capitalization, y'all. You see it right here. Now, this is functionally the logic that causes the animation, but not the styling or e.g. how it looks to us. That's going to happen in the index.css. So your best course of action so you can mimic that exact piece of code would be referencing use game engine.ts you'd copy all of this and you would copy all of index.css and you could paste that into another project. That copy and pasting for that specific code is a little excessive, I'll admit, but I'm gonna show you a more optimized and scalable way to approach adding new features when we do this entire Google AI Studio series on this channel. So make sure to subscribe, hit that little subscribe button, make sure to leave a like, it's completely free. And as you already know, these style of videos, I'll see you in the next. The Google AI Studio just released an app store that's open source that we can basically go to any single app and be like, you know what, I like that feature. I'm gonna take that for my app. Well, you know, I do I like that feature. I'm gonna take that one for my app type of video. Yeah, now I'm batting, okay?